Hey folks, Big Mister here and I'm back in the kitchen with a little quick video about a recipe that one of my subscribers asked about. Uh, Kaisha Irving asked me about the cheesy grits that we serve at our restaurant, Big Mister's Morning Wood. So I decided that I would show her how to make it. So I'm going to make some cheesy grits today. Ready to get after it? All right. Now, if you want good grits, first thing you got to do is start with some good water. So we're going to add some flavor to this boiling water and about a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. I'm going to stir that up. Now, next come the grits. Now, you want to start with some good grits. Whatever you do, people, please don't buy instant grits. They won't do anything for you. Get you some good grits. And you want to add about a quarter of the amount of water you have in there. So if you have two cups of water, you want to add about a half a cup of grits. The thing is, we are looking for creamy grits, but we don't want runny grits. So we're trying to find a happy medium there. We're looking for mashed potatoes, not cream of wheat. Now they will, they're going to absorb all that water and they're going to swell up some. Oh, and there goes the heat. So we're going to turn our heat down to low. Go on down, go on down. We want our heat on low and give that a good stir. You can raise it up off the heat for a minute. There we go. Gotta scrape our sides down a little bit. Turn the heat on low and we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Did I mention that this is supposed to be covered? It's supposed to be covered. Now after this has been cooking for about five minutes, I like to add a little extra flavor. So I'll add in a little granulated garlic, not a lot. And I'll add in just a shake of some white pepper. Just to bring the intensity up a little bit. Give that a stir. Ooh, that's smelling good already. I'm gonna cover it back up and cook it for another five minutes. Okay, we are looking good. Look at that, most of the water is just about evaporated. So what we wanna do is we wanna add in just a little bit of butter. Since it's only me, you know, I don't wanna put too much butter in. Yeah, that'll be enough. You want to give that a stir, get it melted in there good. And as that's melting, we also want to add in cheese. Now you can use pretty much any cheese you want. The only thing that I suggest is stay away from really melty cheeses like mozzarella, provolone, stuff like that, because it'll end up turning into a clump in here and it just won't be right, it won't be creamy. So I am using uh, something I found, it's a, a dill Havarti. So that way I'm gonna get a little herbage in there along with my creaminess. It won't overpower it. It won't be too stringy. It should make it nice and creamy. So we're gonna give that a few minutes and let it melt and we'll be back. Okay, these are looking just right. Let's get these plated up and have us a meal. Let's take a look at those grits. Oh boy. I must admit that these are a little thinner than I wanted, but the flavor was so spot on that I didn't want to mess with them. Tell you what, let's dress these up just a little bit. I figure since we got these good grits, might as well have some shrimp with them. Oh yeah. Let's make it a meal. All right, y'all, it's time to eat. 
And now it's time for the wish you were here part. I really wish you were here. Let's <laughs> chase some of these grits by themselves. Mm. Creamy, savory. Oh, well seasoned. Getting the hint of that garlic and some of that dill. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna try it with the shrimp. Mm. Mm. Shrimp got a little kick to it. A little cayenne and chipotle. And white pepper. Mm. Creamy grits and spicy shrimp go together so well. Mm. It's really good. So, if you are interested in, excuse me, if you're interested in how I made the shrimp, I'm trying so hard to chew this and talk, but it ain't working. If you're interested in how I made the shrimp, uh, leave me a comment below. And if I get enough comments, I'll go back and make a video just on that. The grits are amazing, the creamy as ever. Like I said, I would have liked them a little bit thicker, but I don't want to mess with them because they would taste it so good. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the subscribe button because I'm always trying to grow my channel. Hit the notification so you know every time they come out. And please, please, please share this with your friends. This is Big Mister. A little short video on some good creamy grits. I'm out of here.